Florida Department of Health is now confirming 10 cases of measles across the state. Nine were kids in Broward County. We now know that includes one adult in Polk County. The outbreak has some people asking questions about immunity and whether vaccines many of us had decades ago are still effective. This evening, 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser reached out to local health experts for answers. Well, physicians that we spoke with say the measles is one of the most contagious diseases out there. So even a handful of cases has them on alert. And we need to be pretty concerned. Measles can be very dangerous. USF healthcare physician Jill Roberts says she understands why measles makes some people nervous. The highly contagious disease can have serious consequences for infants, toddlers, adults over 20, pregnant women, and people with compromised immune systems. Uh, there was an outbreak of measles in the U.S. in 2019. About 10 percent of everybody involved was actually hospitalized. So unfortunately, we are we are really used to measles being a, a disease that causes fever and rash and tend to forget that it also causes pneumonia, encephalitis, deafness. There's definitely serious consequences of measles. All of the measles cases so far recorded in South Florida have been patients under the age of 14. But health officials say the latest case is an adult out of Polk County between the ages of 20 and 24 who got infected outside Polk County during travel. It is unclear whether that patient had been vaccinated in the past, but it has a lot of people wondering whether the vaccines they got as kids are still effective. The short answer is probably yes, but if you're not sure, doctors say getting vaccinated again can't hurt. I think that getting a booster now would be especially important for people if measles makes it into the Tampa Bay area. Um, if we see spread of, you know, a couple of cases in our area, then people really need to be thinking about getting boosted if they haven't already had two shots in the past. So far, Florida Surgeon General Joseph Latipo has left school attendance decisions to parents, not recommending the vaccine nor requiring those unvaccinated to stay home. Physicians we spoke with disagree. I think if you follow the CDC guidelines, they do recommend um, an unvaccinated child who's been exposed to somebody with measles should stay home um, for at least 21 days. The measles vaccine is a live virus, so it's not necessarily recommended for infants, organ transplant patients, or people who are immunocompromised. It is important, they say, to check with your doctor. In St. Petersburg, Eric Lasser. Bay. And again, the Department of Health is now confirming another case in Broward, bringing the total to 10. Health experts say the last major outbreak of the measles in the U.S. was in 2019. They estimate about 10 percent of those infected needed to be hospitalized.